Today we're making this super easy, super delicious, alternative to making a full turkey for Thanksgiving. This beautiful turkey roulade with sausage stuffing. <gasps> so delicious, so easy to make. Let's see how we make it. Just keep watching. So for this recipe, we're gonna start by making our stuffing mixture. So in my saute pan, I have my mirepoix. It's a half cup of diced carrots, half a cup of diced celery, half a cup of diced onions, along with half a cup of diced pancetta. So now we're gonna saute this till the onions are translucent, the vegetables are a little tender, and the pancetta is nice and crisp. All right, so probably about five, 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, you'll see your pancetta is nice and crisp, your, onion, your vegetables are tender. So to this, you're gonna add half a pound of cooked Italian sausage, along with the contents of one six ounce box of your regular old um, stuffing mix. This chicken, turkey, whatever kind you want. We're gonna add this whole six ounce bag right in there. And we're gonna give this a quick stir. Get everything nice and coated with all that fat from the pancetta. Mmm, nice. Okay. Then, to this we're gonna add about two cups of turkey stock. If you don't have turkey stock, you could just use regular chicken broth. That works just as well. That should be about two cups. All right. So now we're going to quickly stir this until most of the liquid is gone, and you'll see the stuffing is nice and tender. Don't take long at all. Oh, but I wish you could smell this. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. <laughs> and just after about two minutes, it's all done. You'll see the stuffing's nice and tender, the liquid's all gone, but it's also very, very hot. So we're gonna allow this to cool while we prep our turkey. <sighs> oh, I could just eat this like this. Yum. So here I have two turkey tenderloins. Um, you could definitely use a turkey breast for this if you'd like. I like to use the turkey tenderloins because they're just as tender. They also tend to be a little bit more cost effective. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to butterfly these. Okay, I'm going to cut this in half like that. Open it up. But we also want to take out this little string thing that's inside all tenderloins. It's very unpleasant. You don't want to eat it. It's very chewy. <laughs> You want to take that completely out. And then we're going to cover these in plastic wrap and then pound them till they're about a quarter inch thick. All right, so we're going to continue to prep this just like that. All right, so now we're going to add our cooled stuffing mixture. All right, and it's in the middle of both. Do a nice little coating. over the entire tenderloin. All right, so we're gonna continue adding the stuffing, just like that. And now we're gonna roll them up, hence the roulade. All right, so you can start at one end. If it starts to fall apart, it's okay. All right. So there we got one. Look at the size of this thing. I think this is easily gonna feed I could go for like six people at least. At least. All right. We're going to roll with the other one. And there we have our roulades. Aren't they beautiful? You got a hole there, but it's all right. Because we're going to do something else to cover that. Nice. All right. So now we're going to tie these up. You don't have to be fancy with the tying. Just a little bit, you know, probably like three ties all around. And then, so we tied up the tenderloin so they stayed together. We put them in our baking dish on a bed of some potatoes because, you know, you don't want them to rest directly on the bottom of the pan. So it needs to rest on something. So it must be something we're going to eat. <laughs> so we did some potatoes. All right, so now we're just going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top of the tenderloins. Just a little bit. We don't really need to season these because the filling is so flavorful. Um, but if you want to add a little bit of salt, go for it. But then, 
for the piece de la resistance, <laughs> we're gonna wrap each one with some prosciutto. Now this is definitely gonna add some flavor. All right, so we're gonna coat all these with some prosciutto, just like that. And then lastly, we're gonna pour on the bottom of the pan, one cup of a nice dry white wine. If you don't wanna use the wine, you don't have to. You could always just use some um, chicken or turkey broth, same thing that you used for the stuffing. All right, so now into a preheated 375 degree oven it's gonna go. We're gonna cook this covered for about 30 minutes and then uncovered for 30 to 45 minutes. Just get that prosciutto nice and crisped up. Um, but you wanna make sure, you know, if you have a meat thermometer, make sure you get that right into the center. You wanna make sure this is cooked till 165 degrees. That's very, very important. All right, so into the oven that's gonna go. And it looks like we got some time to kill, so you know what that means. It's cocktail time, yay! All right, so for today's, oh, what's happening here? What, why is there the elf on the shelf riding a bat? I, like, I, I don't understand what's happening. All right, I get it. Thanksgiving is between Halloween and Christmas, so it's, it's kind of like a hybrid thing. Uh, all right, you do you, elf. All right, so anyway, so for today's toasted almond eggnog. <gasps> Sounds good, right? All right, so we're gonna start with two ounces of amaretto. Two ounces of coffee liqueur. Two ounces of rum. And then about two ounces of eggnog. It's already hitting the shelves, folks. If you don't believe me, go to your grocery store. You'll see it. <laughs> of course I had to buy it. And two ounces of that. Okay, now it's shaky, shaky time. And we pour. Ooh, that looks nice. All right, hope it tastes good. Cheers. <sighs> that's good. <laughs> oh my God, that's so good. If you don't like eggnog, this is, this is awesome. And honestly, I'm not really the biggest fan, but this is so good with the the amaretto and the coffee. <gasps> mm, you get like that cinnamon. Mm. Oh, that's yummy. Definitely making this for Christmas. <laughs> so if you try this drink recipe, let us know. Cheers. All right, so this has been in the oven for 30 minutes. Let's see if the unveil. <gasps> oh, that looks so good. All right, but it's got to go back in the oven for another 45 minutes. All right, maybe 30 minutes. We'll see. Just got to make sure that internal temperature is, 30, is 165 degrees. But wow, it smells good. Can't wait. All right, so we pull this out 30 minutes later. The internal temperature is 165, so it's good to serve. And right, so we're gonna let this cool for a sec before we carve it up. <sighs> it looks so good, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, so we carved it up. Time to give it a try. Oh, it looks so good. I can't wait. Bon appetit. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's a Thanksgiving dinner in one bite. So moist, so juicy, oh, so flavorful, and so easy to make. Ah, oh, no more spending like eight hours in the kitchen waiting for that whole turkey to roast. This is what you want to make, and it's so delicious. So if you try this recipe, let us know. Thanks for watching. Oh, this is so amazing. Can't wait to eat all of it. Oh, hello, Lulu. Were you waiting for some turkey? All right, I'll make you a giant plate of turkey, okay? Because you're such a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right, it's coming. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks.